So uh, recently, I made a post on Facebook. I was saying that I'm gonna talk about the Liberia national team and coach Ansu Keita player selection, and give my one or two opinions about you know the new tactics and football strategy that he has introduced to the Liberia national team. So I wasn't able to do that because I, if you don't know, I'm a computer science student. I'm uh, obviously having a lot of assignments and. During the time I actually made a post, I had like a couple of exams and school projects. So it was just it was just not possible to do that. But I think now this is red this is the red time to talk about Liberian football. We just got through playing South Africa in Johannesburg and the game was dramatic. Before I go into the game, I just want to shout out like Mohammed Sangari. He, the goal was just electric. It was a screamer. I watched the game from my room when Mohammed Sangari scored the goal, I was I was just, I don't know what to do. I don't even know how to celebrate. I had a, and I just shout, and my neighbor Nesdo came out of his room. He was like, yo, bro, what's going on? I was like, yo, it's just, this is just this intense excitement. So with that aside, the goal for this video is really, uh, give him my opinion about the, the previous game. And I feel like we should help Ansu Keita because Looking at the way the game played, Ansu Keita is a very good coach. He made excellent uh, substitution. But I feel like though he's introducing this strategy uh, with uh, the team, there's still a moment where he's trying to find out what players to select. He's just developing this strategy maybe to find his starting level. So as a librarian and also a football fanatic, I'm here to help out. Uh, this is just my personal opinion. If you watch this video, if you don't like it, it's okay. I mean, we all have personal opinions about football, and it's just fairly, you know, understandable if you don't like my own opinion. So, uh, the game that I played, the first thing, let's start with the defense. Uh, our defense was very slow and sluggish in the middle of the game, in the beginning of the game, obviously. And you can see the, the attack were building up against us. So, so African. Uh, forwards, they were just drilling through our defense, and that is not a good thing. And in the defense, we have uh, Jema Arago, Chris Body, Samson Dwe, and Mac Pabe. And I feel like those guys they need certain coordination. At some point, Mac or uh, Chris Body would just leave the middle, and you would see there's a free space. And Lev Foster, the South African uh, striker, will make use of that and he score. A couple of times they'll they create spaces, and I feel like the defense is not that bad. My personal opinion the only thing I need the defense to do is to coordinate, and you have to have that sense of awareness. Those four players, and with that, I personally would say I don't mind having those four players play another more game for Lone Star. Then I go in the middle. So, in the middle, we have Kenny and Doc are playing in the middle, and our left wing and right wing is Oscar Dollar and Terrence Tisdale. Because Ansu Keita decided to use the 4 4 2 formation. So, yes, my thing. Uh, the first person I'm going to start with here is Joachim Madoka. This guy, he's not a bad player, he's just too slow. If you're playing a ball possession game, you don't need to be this slow. You need to calculate as fast as possible and make passes. Because most of the time, the South African players, they will win the ball from the middle and they'll have good chances. To be honest with you guys, if South Africa was going to make use of the chances, they are going to win Labrador 6-2. They had six goals they couldn't score. Why? All of the ball came out of the midfield. It was wide open. Joachim was trying to calculate to pass the ball and the opponent won the ball. And we don't need that. In a very serious manner football game, you don't want to be making those silly mistakes. Because those mistakes can end up to be goal at any time. Imagine you are playing a, a very good team where the, the striker is just red dead. They will have won six. But so Africa made a lot of mistakes, to be honest, because our, our Mayfield was just not good in the first half. The crew was scoring about four goals in the first half, to be honest. So uh, my, my suggestion is we need somebody in the Mayfield that is both offensive and defensive. And I think most and Gary has that. The goal he scored was just, it's just another part of him. But like, I watched more play, he's a bit of a defensive player and he can move foul. And I would prefer starting Mo Sangari in the middle and pairing Mo Sangari with Terry Stisdale. I mean, a lot of you guys who watch this video, you'll be like, yo, that's such a weird formation. How we use Tisdale, Terry Stisdale in the middle? He's a, he's a winger. 
I'll, I'll tell you is that now more in football, football has evolved in a way where like you can sort of strategize for your benefit. The reason I'll say Terry in the middle is that we, 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 we can play a football game where we have one in our middle, you have one player that's very offensive and have defensive quality that can pass the ball around, and we can have a player who play the role as a running midfielder. And this might be strange, but a lot of time, other things around the world use this. I'm a Real Madrid fan. A lot of time we play that running midfielder game. There are a couple of times in the past we used Bebeli as a running midfielder. He played in the middle, but he just he go was to take the ball and run in the middle of the ball. And once you can use that logic and conquer the space in the middle, you can create a lot of uh, passes for goals. And I would prefer using uh, Tony and Tisdale then uh, on on the right wing. So if you can do that, if you can bring Tony and Tisdale in and uh, instead of using Kenny in the middle, you, you put Terry Tisdale and Mo Sangari and Tony and Tisdale play the right wing. Obviously, Oscar Dollar on the left, and I'm okay with Mohamed Kamara and obviously William Jabal playing the foul. So that is my team for the upcoming game against uh, South Africa in Liberia on Tuesday. But obviously, there are a lot of ways you can think of this. And second half, you can start introducing player, players like Justin Samuel in the middle, depending on how things are going in the middle, to switch it up. And obviously, you can bring people like P Peter Wilson, also good, good, good or substitution last minute. Peter Wilson playing foul for William Jebba. And at some point, we should be trying these guys. Get to Jebba. Get to Jebba is a good player. I watch him a couple of times. He could come, he could come in and replace uh, one of the midfielders based on the performance of them again. So, that is my our opinion about the Liberian national team for our upcoming game. It, again, like I said, you have all read to dislike my opinion. It's just my opinion, obviously. Our answer key chat can look into this and other people. And this is not something that's going to even happen. If it happens, I'll be so happy. But this is just my dream thing. This is what I want to see. Because this this is not really how a lot of people look at the game. I'm looking at it from us. So like also the normal perspective people have. I want us to play with one running midfielder. Terry Tinsley is not a midfielder. But the way he plays, he has the skills and he has the ability to move the ball out of the middle. And if we can do that and, ha and have him play that role, then we can free the middle enough and we can create spaces for like, people like Mohamed Karara to score. And even William Jebba, because William Jebba wasn't getting any ball. The midfielder wasn't taking the ball out of the midfield. The, the ball was stuck there. Mo Sangari was the one when he came in who gave him passes here and there. And at the end of the day, we want to play possession game, but the end result of football is scoring goals. So that is pretty much what I have to say for today.